So you're in your late 30s, maybe 40, maybe 50 or older, and you're curious, hey, if I can break into this cybersecurity thing. Well, today I'm gonna to give you some honest answers. So, but the first thing, let's cover three things that I know are big factors that stop people from getting into cybersecurity. Number one is your ability to learn. As we get older, there is a tendency for us to stop learning, to stop growing. We get complacent, we get set in our ways, right? And uh, if you're not a person that's willing to continue to reading, uh, continue reading and growing, taking tests, certifications, all type of things, like it's really like you're in school continuously when you're trying to get into cybersecurity. And if that's not you, then you're going to have a hard time because you're competing with people who are coming out of school that are specifically trained in this, you know, 20 and 30 year old people who are who are very ambitious and also they have the resources and they're at the prime when it comes to their ability to learn. So that's number one. Number two, salary. This is a big one. So the thing is, if you're trying to get into cybersecurity, a lot of times your skill set, you may be a senior person in whatever you've done for the, you know, the majority of your life. But when it's time to get into cybersecurity, you're a novice, you're an entry level person. And that a lot of times comes with entry level pay. And if I'm a company and I'm hiring somebody and I see somebody who's 40 years old, 50 years old, and uh, I see that they're in management position or they've been working that career for a significant amount of time. And I have a, a young person coming out of school who's got pretty much the same skill set, maybe even better. And they're also young and ambitious. You've got to be honest with you. What, what is the call that I make in that situation? Because remember, employer employers are not in the business of taking chances on people when it comes to security. They're trying to protect their companies. And if you think about it from if I were to hire security guards, would I hire a security guard who who's maybe older and not really done security and they just started doing security or some young person who's coming out and they're specifically focused on security and this is what they do. Right. So you got to make the call like you got to be honest. And then time. A lot of times as we get older, our time is not as free. Now, at a certain point, your kids may be out of school or you may be married, you may be divorced uh, either way. So there are some times when as you get older, you can't have more times. However, for the for a lot of people, you kind of have these set routines and set things that you're doing. And so are you willing to sacrifice social time with friends, time with kids, time with relatives, time with a lot of you know very important people in your life to spend your time on this computer studying? trying to get into a field that everybody is trying to get to. You gotta be honest with yourself. So let's talk a little bit about the three people that I'm mentoring, okay? Three, <laughs> okay? So number one, mentee number one, me and him, we were working on Network Plus. His focus was to get Networking Plus, and so he did it, he took the test, he studied hard, very dedicated, and uh, failed the test. And I'm gonna bring him on the channel because I want him to tell this story, but He's 40 years old. In fact, he's like maybe 42 now at this point. But anyway, he studied hard. He went in and he failed a Network Plus certification. And uh, it's like, cool. But I saw something in him. And I was like, hey, if you really want to get into cybersecurity, Network Plus is not really something you directly need to learn cybersecurity. So I taught him cybersecurity. He was ambitious. He worked harder than anybody. He outworked the 20 year olds. He outworked the 30 year olds. He outworked everybody that I came in contact with. And when there was an opportunity, I approached the company and I said, hey, got this guy. I've been mentoring. He's absolutely remarkable. And they didn't even know he was 40 years old. So he looks like he's maybe 30, maybe even 20, but he's 40, 42, actually. And he now is one of my co-workers and one of our best workers. All right. So let's talk about mentee number two. I've been mentoring him since about February. OK, he's also 40 something years old, very similar to my age at this point. And uh, He's been doing his career a long time. He has benefits and stuff like that. And so for him to go to work for a company like mine, my company is a startup. It can be very volatile, you know? It's always dependent on growth and investors and stuff like that. And so for him, if he's gonna go into cybersecurity, he's gonna to have to risk his maybe 15, 20 years of being at a company and having that stability and in case something happens, you know, there's a termination or something like that. You usually get severance pay and stuff like that for so many years of service. 
to take a chance because if you're really trying to get into start like cybersecurity, you're gonna have to like go maybe to some riskier companies that are really like aggressively hiring. And so he's got to make that decision. However, I'll tell you one thing that's real cool. While live streaming, we found we didn't mention it on the stream, but we were live streaming and going through, and I was helping him with jobs and you know, job postings and reviewing them and how to understand how to write his resume. And one thing that I don't think a lot of people mention is that one way into cybersecurity is possibly through the security team at the current company that you work with. So we were going through and we saw it and we literally saw a job while we were live streaming at his company. And so we came back, we strategized and kind of came up with a plan for him to reach out to the right person at his company. He did, he reached out to the IT manager or the IT security manager and uh, set up a meeting, went met, went great. And the guy told him it's more of a government type of job position. So they do have very specific requirements that, you know, I can be, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit hard on certifications because they become very expensive. And I think that the, the return on investment is not necessarily what they make it out to be. So anyway, he talks to the hiring manager. The manager tells him, hey, basically get your security plus and your CISSP and I can get you in in August. It's like, wow. So I pivoted immediately. I was like, hey, that's your focus. That's your end. So for those of you that may be watching this video, maybe your path into cybersecurity is at your current position, your current company. So you don't have to lose your seniority and all the time that you've invested in the company there. And then let's talk about my third mentee. Same thing, 40 years old. Now you see a trend, it's interesting because my mentorship is like $1,299, right? I know it's not rule of business. You don't ever talk about money, but it's priced that way because I work a lot of hours and I do like really invest in people's lives. I'm talking to them constantly because it's not a boot camp. I'm literally guiding them through their cybersecurity journey and making adjustments based on their life circumstances. So at 40 years old, that price point is more appealing to them because they can afford to do it. And plus they're willing to invest because they don't want to have to try to do everything on their own or go take this class, this class, this class, and hope that the class is what people are looking for. When you can ask somebody who's really in the industry already and we can just tell you, and that's what I do. So that's why I priced it like that. Cause I really was looking for special people, people willing to invest and be dedicated. Okay. And so I can tell you for his journey, He's working his butt off. But one of the things I've seen in cybersecurity is, it's like when you try to do something great or you try to make a major life change, maybe this is the fourth thing I'll add to the list. There's always some bad thing that happens. And so unfortunately, he had someone very special pass away in his family, like right in the middle of his study time. And so what's gonna happen is, this is gonna be one of those tests so life circumstances is another one that, man, it just happened, just unexpected things. And so he's got to balance that. And then after he deals with everything with his family and a loss, see if he can repivot and come back in and get back to work and refocus. And honestly, man, my heart goes out to him and I pray that he can, but I'm always gonna be here and work with him. So just keep in mind, I would love to hear from you. Let me tell me a little bit about your struggles and stuff like that. But I just wanted to chat uh, I'm tired of trying to be a content creator and make content to entertain people. I'm here to change lives and this is the best way I can do it. I can just be honest and whoever wants to watch it, you watch it. Shout out to you. Let me know if this has been impactful and I'm just going to keep making content from my heart to all the people because I know I see your struggle and I remember what it was like. Remember, I formally got into cybersecurity. Well, not remember. I formally got into cybersecurity in 2018 even though I had been doing some of the functions before, but it was 2018 when I for, like formally get into the field. So I know what it feels like to be always right on the outside, trying to get into this thing that everybody wants to be. But my impression has also changed. I was naive when I was trying to get in. I thought what it was. Now I know what it really is. So anyway, looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments. If this video was impactful in any way, please leave me a comment. I'm looking to build a community I have a Discord that you can always join and talk and stuff like that, and I live stream. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. But anyway, this is Kendrick Technology Interpreters. Thanks for watching.